Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. In this video, we will be continuing the Java programming interview questions, Java coding interview questions that are generally asked if you go for automation testing interviews. So we'll be writing the Java program to find whether the number is a perfect number or not. Okay. So before that, let's understand what is the meaning of perfect number. How do you define whether that particular number is perfect or not? So if, if you are not married, right, then you might be going for matrimonials for meetings and all those things, right? So how do you decide whether that partner is perfect for you or not? So that is a big topic. It would require a lot of discussion, but let's focus on the agenda. Perfect number in Java. Now, which number is perfect in Java? How do you define the perfect number? Let's take an example of six. Okay. Before six, the numbers which come, right? And if the number is divisible, is equally divisible. When I say equally divisible means remainder should be null. Remainder should be zero. That is equally divisible. Or you can say fully divisible. Okay. Now, if I tell you a number 40, is it fully divisible by 10? So 40 divided by 10, you will get remainder as zero. So that is fully divisible. Okay. So similarly, we'll see six. If it is fully divisible by the numbers which are coming before six or which are less than six. Okay. And we will add them. So let's take step by step approach. First step, identify the numbers which are less than six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, if I divide six by one, yes, one is uh, a number which is divisible. Okay. That is not an issue. Some, some number that is divisible by everyone. Two, if you divide six by two, you will get remainder as zero. So six is fully divisible by two. Six is fully divisible by three. But 6 is not fully divisible by 4 and 5. Okay. So now we have identified the numbers which are by which 6 is fully divisible. And now we will add these three numbers. What is the sum that we are getting? That is 6. So this proves 6 is a perfect number in Java. Right. So what we did, I'll repeat. We identified the numbers, those are less than the number which we have taken. And then we identified the numbers by which six is fully divisible. And then we added those numbers. After adding those numbers, we are getting the output as same as the number that we have taken. Then that number is a perfect number in Java. Okay. So now what we will have to do, we'll have to do addition operation. High level. I'll write this program in the IDE, but let's understand the logic first. We'll do addition operation. So we'll require one variable with the integer data type to whom you can add. And then we will also need divisible thing, right? So you will have to divide them. So that operation is also in the picture. Then what else we have? Hmm. The original number and the number after addition. So we would require two variables to compare the original number and the later number. Okay. So accordingly, we'll be writing this program. So let's move to our favorite tool that is IDE. And before that, if you haven't still liked this video, then please do hit the like button hitting the like button will not uh, you know deduct any money from your debit card slash credit card so don't worry about those things what was the number okay we are writing perfect number okay so let's write the program of perfect number so let's take pro uh, the number itself first integer number equal to six. You can use scanner class to ask from 
the person which number do they need to process in a program but in an interview you would be an interviewee and the interviewer will tell you to write the program so don't ask him right which number you can take your number by yourself and you can start writing that program integer number equal to six right so we'll go for for loop what we are going to do in the for loop for i let's take integer i right integer i and i is less than or equal to our number itself i plus plus right we'll be running this for loop because we need all the numbers still six okay Let's keep i less than number. i less than equal to. Okay. You would need less than only. Uh, then for integer i, i is less than number. i plus plus. Initialize variable. Okay, we have to initialize this variable. Let's keep integer i and sum. We also need some variable at the end. Let's keep it as zero for now. Now we have to divide this particular number. So whichever number we get. So what we will do is number. Number is six. Okay. If six is equally divisible. So N so number is percentage modulus operator will use by i clear if so this is an if condition right if this is happening then and then only what you should do sum equal to the sum whatever the number we have sum plus i okay if modulus operator is working here why it is showing rename i why we should rename i just a second let's solve this program first and then we'll mark system dot out dot print ln What is our number? It is sum. Okay, now let's see this pro problem. Okay, we have to mention zero here. If the operator is having zero, well, let's take integer i equal to one here. Okay. This is integer sum equal to zero. Right, so we'll start now running this program. Right, so you're getting sum. Okay, at the end, you can also add one more if condition. If sum is equal to number, then it's a perfect number, else it's not a perfect number. Okay, now we, let's see this thing also. If we take i equal to zero, earlier we kept here i sum equal to zero, then what is happening? Okay. You will get exception because Java dot lang dot arithmetic exception you will get divisible by zero. Okay, so that's why we have to take i equal to one here. Okay, and at the end you can keep one if condition if sum equal to number, then it's a perfect number, else it's not a perfect number. So this was a program related to perfect number it was actually a part uh, of somebody some one of our subscriber had uh, commented in the youtube videos that we need a, a perfect number java program so this is for you right if you have any other program coming up in your mind you can let us know 
so we'll be writing those programs and hope this video would have you know solved and have got and have given you a proper clarity on how to write a perfect number program right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates